So chances are you've heard about how turmeric is a powerhouse for anti-inflammatory properties, but today I wanted to share with you all the benefits that turmeric provides in a healthy lifestyle and why you should be including it in your diet ASAP. So let's get started. If you've never had turmeric, it's actually a spice. It has kind of a goldeny yellow color to it. You can have it dried. You can also have it fresh. And it has this kind of mild, distinct fragrance to it and adds a nice depth and like earthiness to foods. It kind of has a feel of ginger mixed with a little bit of like pepperiness. The active ingredient in turmeric is called curcumin and that is what actually has all the anti-inflammatory properties. Curcumin just makes up a percentage of the turmeric and in one teaspoon of ground turmeric there's about 200 milligrams of curcumin. The issue is really that curcumin only takes up about 3% of the total content of turmeric. And there haven't been a whole lot of studies on appropriate dosages, and so there's no real good guidelines from the FDA on exactly how much you should have on a daily basis. But that doesn't mean that having it in your diet isn't helpful. In fact, it's also very beneficial. So turmeric is also taken oftentimes in supplement form because you can get a more concentrated amount of that curcumin in those capsules, up to 500 milligrams per capsule. So definitely, if you are interested in starting to add in a turmeric capsule, talk with your doctor and make sure it's a good choice for you. But just because you can get it in concentrated form does not mean that having it in your daily food consumption is not a great idea. In fact, there are a ton of health benefits of just incorporating turmeric, the spice, into your daily routine. So let's go over some of those top nutritional benefits of turmeric. Turmeric increases antioxidant activity. So oxidative damage over time can cause a lot of diseases and it really is because we're not controlling those free radicals in our body. So the cool thing about turmeric is it's actually been shown to increase and stimulate the production of antioxidants in the body. The fight that oxidative damage. If you have arthritis, turmeric has actually been shown to reduce inflammation in arthritis patients, particularly in rheumatoid arthritis patients. Turmeric looks to be promising for cancer prevention. There are a lot of promising studies that are showing some good benefits of turmeric in relation to fighting off cancer and preventing it. Turmeric increases your brain hormone production, and it can actually help to reduce some cognitive diseases. Plus, it can help with your memory. So having less oxidants in your body, having less inflammation, both of those really help to reduce the risk of heart disease. Turmeric can help reduce symptoms of depression and also Alzheimer's, and it can also help to increase your levels of serotonin and dopamine, and both of those are gonna help reduce your depression level. Turmeric actually contains a ton of helpful vitamins. So it has vitamin B6, iron, potassium, copper, and it also has a ton of essential nutrients as well. And turmeric can help your thyroid function better as well. And that's because the manganese in turmeric actually helps your thyroid function more appropriately. And that's important because your thyroid has a big impact on your hair, your eyes, and your heart. And two teaspoons of turmeric gives you a whole 17% of your daily manganese requirements. So it definitely is a good powerhouse for getting that essential nutrient. So yes, there are a ton of health benefits of just incorporating turmeric as a spice into your daily routine. So if you're looking for how to increase your dietary turmeric, I will include below also two different links. One for video on a five-day anti-inflammatory diet and another in my favorite anti-inflammatory drinks. That all being said, there are some people who should talk with their doctor before adding in extra turmeric. And let me list those off because these are important to pay attention to. If you have kidney stones, turmeric can t potentially bind with the calcium and cause more stones. So you want to talk with your doctor and avoid turmeric potentially. There isn't a lot of research on whether or not turmeric is good or bad for breastfeeding or pregnant women. So talk with your OBGYN in this scenario as well. And if you are considering adding in those supplements, definitely speak with your doctor, particularly if you suffer from gallbladder disease, blood disorders, iron deficiency, or diabetes. And check out my video on the benefits of apple cider vinegar for more amazing ways to add in healthy nutrients through your food, and I'll see you in the next video.